So we got a new character here. Hmm, who is this man? It's a level one sailor. <laughs> oh, look at his landlubber status. That's what he is. <laughs> He starts with crap. Yeah. All he starts with of note are two health potions of the tiniest and weakest variety mm -hmm. and two giant strength potions. Just whatever he could scrape off the ship before he was kicked off, yep. I guess. So let's do the exiguous quest. Oh man! So we're not uh, we're not starting level one with this man. Look, sailors have a lot to do. <laughs> they don't have time to grind through three quests oh, before they kill traitors to truth. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah. His soundboard is amazing, and it'll be showing up the time. To time. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's. <laughs> there he goes. So, as you probably expected, we're going to cheat very hard in order to beat this quest with a level one man. And the first glitch and the main one is the game pause glitch. <laughs> oh my when... goodness, this is the best <laughs> thing. Yeah, when you when you pause the game. It, uh, it uh, continues your little animation there, doesn't there it? There you go, yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, even weirder is pressing pause actually activates your attack button. So it's like it's pre-packaged for oh you to cheat goodness. with. <laughs> I'm not even pressing the usual attack. I'm just triggering pause. Oh, man, look at them just casually swiping you twice and taking off like half of your health. Mm-hmm, yeah. That each one hits me exactly once, and I'm already very badly off. So we skipped ahead, killed a few more bronze knights. Good, good. Um, leveled up once. Uh, yeah, you, you did. You can see already. I am now a trainee. Okay. Oh, that's come up. I, it, it doesn't matter. I don't don't know that to be a nautical term. The... Train. These guys are a little tricky oh, man, look because at their... they can. Yeah. They, they can bounce you back. Look at their but, eyebrows, uh, though. With, uh, with pause animation, you can really appreciate that. <laughs> oh, this so is great. the best thing. Yeah. What are you looking at? <laughs> so here I am, straining with my lack of a ring of jumping, <laughs> trying to get this. I jumped up and down here for a good long while. You see, I cut there. All right. So I managed to get this silver short sword, That's which. Good. I believe is exactly as powerful as my iron longsword, okay. but it swings a little faster, so I have to spend less time watching it, <laughs> even though the game doesn't know any more right. time. And now I'm a galley grunt. <laughs> the best level up sequence imaginable. <laughs> Uh, Hooray! Okay. So we skipped. Um, here I am at the exit. I just run through, you know, pause right. killing everyone in the way, Put making a big stash of all my ill-gotten bronze crap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see I'm really unhealthy, because oh, no even kidding. the few scrapes I get, because right. the wizards hit me zero times, and the knights hit me exactly once each, and I'm already down one of my two health potions, and I'm just bleeding all over the place. Sheesh. So here I'm trying to stealth this man, and even with the uh, pause glitch, he still gets it. Oh no! So yeah, sorry stealth, the worst stat. It's the worst. Uh, so a, a sailor is a speed man, right? Like he's uh, he is. Just... Oh god! He sucks at everything except melee and speed. Okay. He can use crossbows. He's got chainmail as his best armor, and here I am showing Damn. off how bad leather is. Mm -hmm. He starts with. 5% uh, total block, and even after upgrading his entire suit up a tier, mm -hmm. he goes from 5% to 7% oh. total block. And there's no hats for leather armor, so goodness. you can never fill that last slot. That is not that good. No. So here I've got the blink scroll, and I'm like, I'm gonna blink over to that chest yeah. at 100 gold. <laughs> Of course, the scrolls t show you nothing about how far forward you will blink. It is a set distance. Right. You're just roaring drunk by this point in time, teleporting oh, all yeah. over the place. So I killed a wizard. Man, look here. at that blood! Mm -hmm. That's but what I was really doing is lining myself up with the gap in the hall there. Mm -hmm. You the, know! The wizard nook is perfectly spaced. <laughs> you know if they had some way of saving that. That's wizard blood. That's gotta be uh, valuable in some way. <laughs> you know it is. Wizard blood. It, but now I have uh, like 20 times my starting gold. Chest oh alone. gosh, yeah, that, that 100 gold there, that's a good chance. And I don't have a jerk to poison me to death and <laughs> lose it all. No, 
know. <laughs> this doesn't even sound like it's just one of the developers, you know? Like I don't know what it is. It sounds like they got one of the developers like deadbeat brother and lost. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what accent that is, but it's, it's not Sailor, no. that's for sure. So here the wizard is just sort of blowing his friends apart <laughs> as he uh, tries to hit me there. <laughs> this glitch is still my favorite. It's, uh... it's it's the worst glitch I've found as far as cheating goes. So... Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like it's, you're just some like filthy biker. Like, uh... <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I guess uh, this pause glitch actually this makes you doing. master of time now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because I'm sure, you know, from their perspective, you just run up to them and just a million times <laughs> swing your sword instantly. So, one of the, part of the loot to this room is this gray colored potion, which is a plus 50 health, uh, and a flesh colored potion, which is uh, transparency. That's it. Um, actually, wait, no, the flesh colored potion is speed. Okay. Is speed. And I have plans for both of those potions. Good, so okay. That's why I left this in. <laughs> yep, I remember this place well. Do you? This insane maze. Not this isn't the most insane oh, maze. Uh, here we have the Saran Wrap Star. <laughs> and here I'm suddenly realizing I'm out of spells, I'm surrounded by people, yeah. I'm one hit from death. But I still decide to pause kill this wizard right. instead. And you can actually hear you hear that? Yeah. That is a flying acid bolt. Oh no! <laughs> it was midair. Oh gosh! Well, so this is five health. You've just got like <laughs> a little blood in your leg left, and that's it. Right. Now I have plans for that big health potion, so I don't want to use it in this level. Um, so instead, I come back here to the food room and decide to just eat sure. and regenerate Wait. health right. passively. The natural the, way. Uh, right. And that is, in fact, what food does. I did a test, oh. uh, even running down to 0% food and water. Uh, all that does is, the more your food is, the faster your health regenerates, and the higher your water is, the faster your mana regenerates. Okay. So, that's what they're for. And they go down close to water, it's really hard to ever drop below the fastest tier. Sure, sure. Is that 75? So here, I beat a mana dev, and then I'm like, oh gosh, oh, no. what's this? Oh, where are all these oh, men coming oh, from? Gosh. Man, that was exactly yeah. one hit from death. I, I was so lucky. And let's uh, keep in mind that your 100 gold are riding. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> so I think I've already killed the bronze knight at this point, so I'm just finishing off this last guy. Well, hey. I level up again! <laughs> I'm now a sea man. I've gone entirely from landlubber to sea land without leaving this stupid castle. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of sea in here. You know, the uh, fighting it's barbarians sea, and wizards is a kind of sea in here, so. Nice. That's a wand of homing darts. I figure out using it. I don't think I ever do. My oh, man, Max is so bad. Oh, and the wand is so weak. This it? thing is some of its lava, some of its floor. It looks identical, and the only way to tell which is which is to follow. Is it those little triangle guys in the middle there, maybe? I don't know. No, you'd think so, but no. <laughs> Of course not. Of course not. You know, I know this so is the case. These scrolls made of skin are fire resistance. Of course, for sure. <laughs> uh, I know this isn't the case, but I kind of hope that one of the higher level sailor levels is Ishmael. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've never gotten a sailor that high, and uh, we won't get this guy that high uh, either. No. So. <laughs> Master Belch is going to be level butt forever, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here I'm using one of my giant strength scrolls. <laughs> Air potions in order to haul all the loot away. Good. And look at all that treasure we got. Right. 14 platinum. <laughs> wow. Out of one level. Yeah. So, again, this is one of those, there is now no reason to actually finish the quest. Like, right. Uh, I got a ring of water walk, because mm -hmm. you always need one of those, and a ring of food conservation, so I always regenerate at top speed. Yeah. And I don't want to have to bother going to the food room in every level. Right. Whatever. Uh, I think about selling this home dark, I don't think I do. Mm. It's hard to know whether to sell a home dark. Yeah, at this point I hadn't decided how I was going to handle it. Oh, sure. So I bought the Fang Blade, good. which is just a dagger that does a ton of damage. It gives you a feeling of... Of strength. Uh, yeah. 
And then I bought a bunch of crappy health potions. I would buy bigger ones, but they don't sell yet, because I'm still going off the default store. Right, stock. yeah, you don't have any of the <laughs> quest store things. Good. Nope. I do buy an awful lot of uh, arrows, thinking maybe I'll use the crossbow. <laughs> Look at you just daggering that wizard a million times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you'll notice that I hit them a lot as they fall. You do get XP for hitting oh, yeah. them as they die out. Yeah, normally you so, can only manage you know, one hit as they're going down. Yeah, if you've got good speed. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing this at double speeds, and then I'm probably going to cut out all the content combat for sure, because you, you know how this goes. Oh, cool. wizard basements. Still my yeah. favorite. Here I am almost dying. You can't actually move items while the game's paused. Okay. So that would be a great way to just drink potions easily, but uh, they won't yeah. let you pick anything up out of your inventory. Well, they wouldn't want you to uh, take advantage of the system. <laughs> well, it shows they thought about pausing yeah. and exploits in it. But just not the, But they also made it make you attack and complete the animation. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So I use these handily placed featherfall potions. I'm sure this is why they're there. <laughs> right. Yeah, so they come down here and get these flying potions. I don't really use them as much as I should, but it's, it's much good. Yeah. I try to go for this amethyst, but no, it drops away, even flying. Oh, uh, I remember that. I, remember that. that I hate that hole. little tiny hole. I still... Yeah. That's maybe my favorite petty thing. So that uh, Speckled Orange Potion is not actually Featherfall, it is Holy Strength, uh -huh. which is actually stronger than Demon Strength, which oh. speaks well for the metaphysics of this setting. I, I suppose it does. At and least then, uh, has the strength. That is a scroll of speed, but um, I really only need one speed thing, so I think I end up selling it. And nope, can't get that one either. I hate those holes, they're just so petty. Oh, <laughs> that boulder. Yep, I've got my other feather fall here in case I fall in that hole. But I come over here to get the steel on there. And yep. I drop in the hole on purpose because that go. causes this to raise up. And then I can slip around the boulder even mm -hmm. more easily. But then it goes by at a bad time, and I don't have a ring of jumping. So it's a lot closer than I'd like, but it's not that bad. Yeah. So we go over here, and in the training room I find, in addition to more ammo, a second crossbow. And you know what use two crossbows are. I know so. exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm now a mate! What the, what is that? that level? I'm now a mate. Oh, well, a mate, I see, yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Not a first mate, mine, just yeah. a mate. No, you're just a matey now. Right. So here we are in level 3 of the quest. I'm level 5. Right. I've got a bunch of money. I've got the best I can buy, and I've decided to stop cheating at this point. Man. So, this goes to show how powerful speed is. Yeah. Oh, I did buy a hat, but of course, the first guy I kill drops a better one. <laughs> right. So, there you go. That's fine. That's, that's the way of it. Mm -hmm. So, you have a fast weapon. You stay oh. under your lowest. Uh, Encumbrance, right. so you're moving at top speed, and you can do this little dance to kill guys that take on Yeah. And then I, of course, immediately engage this guy in the corner. Of course he gets you right in the corner. Right. He's so much slower than me, it's really my fault. Okay. I run over here, so he shoots his bolt down the hallway and doesn't catch me in splash, so it hits the whole wall. So the, the dagger, does that interrupt their spell in there? No. Okay. No, it doesn't. But when you're close to them, they default to using their knockback. Right, right. <laughs> you would think they just use their acid bolt, because they're still immune to acid. Yeah. But... Uh, you know. Maybe they've got some specific, you know, don't catch me in the spell. Whatever. So I'm up here by Nebuchadnezzar that to get thing. the uh, invisibility potion and the mithril axe. Mm -hmm. The axe does actually exactly as much as Fang Blade. Um, so there's no reason to switch to it. It's slower. Yeah. Speaking of speed, I got the ring of speed as well. Let's just admire those uh, skulls in the in the in the wall there. <laughs> so here I do a better demonstration of the dance. Yeah, I see that. I was I've not mastered that. Of course, I am a big old paladin with heavy armor and a slow sword. So yeah, not quite as light Ooh. on my feet. So here I'm using the invisibility potion. Okay. 
there didn't seem to be anything in the bottle. <laughs> I like I use that. a perfection from Fire Scroll, and a man comes up and starts beating on me. I meant to use a flying potion here, but I freaked out. Just, just run into the lava. Mm-hmm. That's all. I have good protection from fire running though. And I thought the invisibility would keep the wizards from aggroing on me, but no, Boy, they don't care. Does. Wow, They're just so shoot me anyway. That's just as useless. And that's as invisibility. It can be. That's better than transparency. But this guy doesn't notice me. He's just blowing He eventually things shoots up a hand. fireball and it immediately aggroes on me, it turns back and hits him in the face. <laughs> Thus is the danger of wizarding. Mm-hmm. I actually skipped most of this level because I'm actually strong enough to kill Exiguous now, so oh, cool. I'm not going to bother killing everything. You're not going to deign to even uh, no. fight these peasants or whatever. No, so I didn't run around or go to Wizard Pond or any other place. Man, forget Wizard Pond. What I gotta say about that. So here we are just running around in the dark. I didn't right. buy any carrots because I bought that ring of food, and you see a wizard blew it off me, so I don't have it anymore. <laughs> Man, that's that's an occupational hazard. But I did pick up some chain mail, so I've jumped Good. from seven percent armor to forty percent. Oh gosh. Mm-hmm. That's, Weather's so bad. That's uh, that's a pretty good little increase there. <laughs> Now here's this uh, demon priest man, or death priest, right? Yeah, oh, the death priest. That's a cool little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I immediately stun lock him to death. Right. And buffed up super speed. Man, look at him in his just pitch black little office with just a, <laughs> like a, a candelabra and a note that doesn't... Oh, well, whatever. Candle's giving off no light. Mm-hmm. So I replace my missing food and, ring. And this. a hidden food ring. I guess he hides <laughs> it so nobody thinks he's uh, putting on airs or whatever. I don't know why he hides it. <laughs> so I ran back to the uh, entrance via the little corridors. I've never gone to the plaza yet, and I'm not going to. Yeah, I would. I don't want to fight infinite skeletons. I'm good enough. No, no we know about infinite skeletons. <laughs> You're just like, bye, everybody! keep looking back because I'm afraid those guys are going to come after me but oh, I guess yeah. they get stuck on something they never do. They're in the middle of something. Mm-hmm. They are playing some Settlers of Catan. You know how it is with destroyers and doom wraiths and, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're big boys. So incidentally this high speed advantage is why I think the Magician, which is sort of the thief, the mage, cross class is the strongest class in the game. Really? Okay. This is why I bought the water walk ring. Because uh-huh. otherwise, if you fall in there, you're not. Oh getting man, I got hard. stuck in there for a little bit. That was no fun. Yeah. You mentioned exploring this river, but oh, I yeah. show up. Hooray! Yeah. Hooray! Yeah. We and you can't actually go in this. It's too small. Oh, come on. Nope. Looks like it should be something. Yeah. That'd be neat if that was like a, a back door to, uh, to Exigence or something. Yeah. The dice. Nope. Here we are dodging the fireball, and I like this trap just because it's more intimidation than yeah. it's actual danger. Yeah, you sidestep it once and it's done. Yeah, all these doors fly open. I think if you run back to the very beginning, it'll fire again. Okay, well, who's ever gonna do that? That's just silly. So, Exiguous is behind this door, let's buff up. All right. 15 more speed, speed. 20 more strength. And transparency to try to get up close to him without aggroing. And then I get my big health potion and just keep it handy in <laughs> case I need it. Alright, and he hasn't aggroed yet. Oh, nice! And here I'm actually too fast and I'm just running all over the place, <laughs> falling off, overshooting. Waving your dagger just... indiscriminately in front of him. <laughs> right. And then, uh, fortunately, he sticks himself in the hole there. Take off eighty percent of his health in one go. Just look how fast I'm stabbing. Look at his movement. He's just like waving his arms up right <laughs> next to his face. So that's that for Exiguous. Bad. He still managed to get a decent number of skeletons. Oh, you're first mate now. That's right. right. Level to six, clearing it out. <laughs> so let's take stock. A first mate, mm-hmm. leveled five times. I've got full mithril armor. I mean, I'm going to be the best sailor without ever sailing. You never have to eat, so I guess that uh, that takes care of scurvy. Yeah. Got two well, I, don't know. I hope so. Yeah, I guess it doesn't say ring of perpetual vitamin C. So. No. I wouldn't be a sailor if I didn't get some good scurvy. That's true. <laughs> that is fantastic. I'm so happy about that run. So there we go. Maybe next time we'll try another level one guy. I haven't decided for sure. next quest. 
But all right, thanks for watching. See you all in Quest 5. Later.